Hello everyone, and welcome back to Linkle of the Wild. And uh, so this is the last one that I have to buy, is the trees. Um, mm -hmm. Time for some construction instruction. Uh. Carson, we are on. Ah. Yo! And uh, the reason I went ahead and grabbed it right here at the end with that is because once that is done, um, it will let us get the last things. That's really coming along. Take a look if you get a chance. Ah, you housing monster. You got everything. Ah, uh, such is the way of youth, driven, even reckless some might say. Well, since you bought everything, it's around some free furniture, yeah. Least I could do. Carson, look lively. Oh. I'm with you. I just wanted to show, um, you know, them doing the, uh, the scene and then building the last of the stuff for me. Sorry, I took a drink and that did not work out. Oh, I'm tuckered. I couldn't swing a ball peen hammer right now, let alone an axe. Break time, baby. Highland homeowner complete. So yeah, we have our house done. We have the sign on the front that has our name on it. <coughs> so nobody will forget whose house this was. Next time. And we've got trees, we've got a bunch of cool looking flowers, excuse me, and on the inside, oh yeah, it looks so much better in here. got all this nice furniture we got some lights going on here we got all of the um, mounts it looks fantastic I finally have my house back to the way it was or at least at the way I, it probably was anyway I mean I don't really remember but regardless, it looks nice, so that's what matters, I guess. I only have two places at the table, though. How am I going to have a whole family to eat here? Well, I'll figure that out later. Oops. For now, though, I'll have to display that. Actually, no, I did do that right. And display that, just because they look cool. Eh, I'll take that back, actually. I do want to put up the Traveler's Shield, just because they're pretty rare. Um, I don't have any bows I want to put up. And all three of my weapon slots are going to be filled once I get my hands on the champion stuff. Um, champion stuff gives me a shield three weapons, and a bow. There's five champion items, and I always collect them all and then hang them up on the mounts. Because I don't want them to break. <laughs> and they all look cool, so that's what I'm going to do with them when I get to that point. Alright, so, Hateno Village, yeah? We really didn't get to do much here last episode. So there is the in or general shop or something like that up here I think I think this might be the general shop yes it is I can buy some arrows I can buy some milk I can buy some hardy truffles which are really good some endura shrooms some bird eggs and some hylian rice but I'm not gonna buy anything immediately I'm actually gonna come back here later and buy things because I want him to keep those in stock because there's some things that uh, there's something I'm going to be picking up and I'm going to be 
going to need to be able to look at those when that comes up. Everybody who's played this game knows exactly what I'm talking about, but if you haven't played Breath of the Wild before, then I would like to not immediately tell you everything about the game, if I can, just because I think it would be more fun that way. Will this work? Yeah. That's right, this hammer should also work on the uh, box over here, shouldn't it? Yep. Cool. Also, the nice thing about having the house is that there are two iron sledgehammers there at all times, which means that I can come back at any time and get my hands on them, which is really handy. So, I've never been up here before. I didn't even know this was a place I could get to. Doesn't really seem like there's anything here. So maybe I can burn this away. Let's go back here. <coughs> Nothing. Oh well. I don't know. In that case. Oh, it must be raining. Yes, it is. I slid down. I'm like, wait, why am I sliding down? I guess it must be raining. Also, I don't need to keep this outfit on, do I? Um, let's go ahead and equip the Hylian stuff for now. At least these two pieces. Because I think this looks really cute. Like, seriously, look at this. This is super cute. Well, I really like the Hylian set here. I actually really like all the armor. I'm not big on the hood. The Hylian hood there. Um, I mean, I know that's a Linkle's thing, but even like... In Hyrule, even in Hyrule Warriors, when I play as Linkle, you know how you can, like, have her take off the hood? Um, I always did that. I always had her take off the hood before doing, before I did anything, so. Um, I do want to, since this is about to break, let's hang that up. Because otherwise I'm only going to get, like, two bows. Anyway, I want to put a short bow up there. Um... I want to put the ancient short bow up there, but I also want to, um, do a few, uh, I also want to put the, uh, champion bow up there. Um, beyond that, though, okay, that's adorable. I've never, like, seen that animation. I've never slept in my own bed, so I've never, like, seen that. That's cool. The nice thing about having a house, though, is that I can now teleport here and do whatever the heck I want in the house at any point. So if I need a free place to sleep, as long as I don't mind, you know, not immediately being able to go back to wherever I was going, I can just teleport right back here. So, it's nice. So, we've been in the general shop. Let's go over here to the clothing shop. Hi there. Hi. Um, Hi. welcome, welcome. Everyday clothes, armor for soldiers. We have it all at Ventus Clothing. She needs something. Why are you in the corner? Oh. Uh, am I nestled too far in the corner? Is it hard to see me? I know it's a little weird, but I just feel more confident over here. What is this place? We're a clothing shop with lots of apparel to choose from. I'm aware to adventure wear. You'll find it where? Right here. Do you need anything else? Um, I'm gonna buy something. Sure. Go right ahead. Let's buy the soldier's armor. Thank you for your business. That's right. You have to, like, wait for her. Thank you very much. She has to actually, like, be paying attention to you. It's a little annoying. <laughs> but, we have a good set now. So, this is the soldier's armor. And you can get, if you haven't gotten the warm doublet somehow, that's there. If you didn't get the Hylian armor while you're in Kakariko Village, or you came here first for some reason, um, it is here. 
So you can collect it here. Um, now our uh, Hylian armor here is better, so I think I'm going to wear this for now. Uh, but there's quite a bit more still to do, so quite a few things more that we can, uh, uh, quite a few more outfits and things that are even better that we can get our hands on. Let's talk to this guy though. But I have to do it without this equipped. <laughs> Welcome, for looking to add some color to your wardrobe, you found the right place. Who do you do? Welcome to Kochi Dye Shop, where we live to die. If you have any dye ingredients, it's 200 rupees to dye an item. This includes our service charge, of course. Let's get going and dye your get up to the coloring of your choosing. Let's do it. Wonderful. Doug, go wait up there. I'll be just... I'll just be a minute. <laughs> Another great day to dye that whole outfit all at once. Alright, choose your dye color or go ahead and change clothes. Choose the color. If the clothes you're wearing that can be dyed will change color. Are you sure you want to go with this outfit? Sure thing. Which dye color would you like? I've actually never dyed this outfit. So I'm curious to see what some of these others look like. That pink one is nice. Um, can I rotate? Yes, I can. Cool. The brown is nice. I like the fact that it changes the whole outfit. Like, some of these just change the, um, skirt and shorts there. But some of them do change the whole outfit. That said, I do kind of like this blue better. So, I like that blue better. Black is kind of nice. This one changes the whole outfit again. And gives you that blue shirt. Um, that's just the same. This is like the default, I think. Or maybe it's this one. I know one of these is like what I'm currently got. So. Or probably pretty close to. It might be that it's a unique color. Um, but you know what? I like this blue. So I'm going to go with that. Assuming we have enough ingredients, which we, I guess if I use the sapphires, but I don't really want to. So it doesn't look like I want to, doesn't look like I can do the blue immediately. What about this one, the pinkish, um, rock salt, and I just don't have any use for otherwise. That'll be 20 rupees. Yeah, I think it's a unique dye. I think it's a unique color. All right, now hold your breath. <laughs> that looks cute. I like the blue better, but it doesn't work for now. But I'm very special here, if I'd say to say so myself. You look great. You find that such palatable. If you'd like to do a re -dye, just let me know. Yeah, I mean, that looks pretty good in my opinion, so. And then we just make sure to put on the, uh, the hairstyle. So, very nice. Very nice indeed. So, I don't think there's a way into this house. I can get on the house, but I don't think there's a way in the house. I don't know why I can just randomly climb up here. Well, there's a rusty shield. That's interesting. Boom. Had to break the pots, you know. I can have that rusty shield just because. It gives me that extra shield. Ooh, random arrows. How about that? I think I need them. Oh well. That's fine. Yeah, I don't see any regular doors into the house. It's only... Oh, uh, those arrows might have come from one of those pots. Um, but yeah, it's only like that area that you can enter the house from. What's in here, I wonder? Are there any side quests? Anybody home? Hmm, nobody's here. Oh well. I don't know whose house that is, but it seems to be empty. How about this house over here? Hello? Anybody here? Hey, hey, hey! Yes? Have you seen this one? 
Ba 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 Bilson. Oh uh, yeah, he does the. Uh, okay, bye. Whatever, your name. Hmm, I don't know who that kid was, and that was just a weird dance. Oh well. Anyway, let's keep moving on. Let's head up here. It's true, I really saw her. Oh, oops. Hee <laughs> hee, sorry. Who did you see? There's a girl staying up at the Hotel Ancient Tech Lab. I saw her come outside. She was right over there. It's true. But when I tried to tell a grown up about it, they said the only people who've lived up there are an old man and an old woman. She was a Sheikah girl, I swear. No one listens to kids. Hmm. I'm sorry. Oh, hey. Here is the goddess statue here. Let's mark that in that case. Did I? I didn't mark the <coughs> evil guy's statue, did I? I think it's here. It's roughly around there. So this must be the chief's house. Let's see if we can see anybody here. I don't see anybody immediately. Probably out and about. Seems like the NPCs are pretty good about being out and about. Alright then. I wonder what all these lanterns are for. Pots! Sorry. And just a random kid was there. <laughs> Break it. And break it. Hmm. Hammer. I don't know why I didn't just do that to begin with. Yes, good morning indeed. Are you some sort of traveler? That's right. Well I'll be. Well, this has grown to be quite a lovely play, lively place, but that's on account of things being so peaceful in general. Peaceful? Oh yes, when I was a child this whole region wasn't in a state fit to be sown, much less harvested. Hebel Castle and Castletown had been destroyed. All the lively folks there fell victim to, well, back in bygone days, we called it the Calamity. The words often fall meaningless when we try to describe tragic events of a certain magnitude. I mean, that is true. Well then, fancy seeing you so early in the morn. Best place to rest up in all the Hintenham villages, Tan Puin. Fun to stay, just talk to the clerk across the counter. Okay, I'll keep that in mind. I don't really need to rest though, I have a house here. Hmm, frozen, frozen. everyone out today, Trigger just never stops. Ever stayed at the Tan Puin? No. If you're not staying there then. I'm supposed to check out everyone who comes into town. Right, right. Thought so. I know things have been peaceful recently, but the outside world is still pretty dangerous, yeah? <coughs> so I gotta make sure if any suspicious people. Uh, I mean, suspicious folk have come around here. Beauties? If you're lucky enough to say the Tan Poo Inn, you'll see what I mean. Say hello to Prima for me if you do. Not that she even knows who I am. Well, this is tough. I have to give her something. What kind of a gift do you think Prima the Tompoon would want? Just take a guess. It's not for me, you understand. It's for my buddy's friend. Hmm. Maybe I can go ask her. Hey, miss. I got a question for you. Ma'am, did you need for something from me? What do you like? Why is she asking? Whatever, I'll just say something random. Uh, I'll tell you something that I really like. Crickets! It's my dream to have my own collection of a hundred restless crickets. As if. Hmm. Really? Okay, well. Thank you for letting me know. Aww. 
Yeah? What is it? I talked to Prima. What? Prima told you what she wants? Prima never even talks to me. Yeah. Um, I mean, that's cool, that's cool. So then what is it? She said she wants restless crickets. About a hundred of them. Prima wants restless crickets and a hundred of them? Haha, <laughs> what a small world. I love restless crickets. I'm a connoisseur of them. I think that's what the word means. But catching a hundred of them is going to be tough. You could help me get started on those. How about you give me ten of them? I'll give you something nice for your trouble. Sure. Yeah, it'll take me a little bit though. I don't think I have them. How many do I have? Whopping two. Good to know. Those are not the easiest things to catch, honestly. So, well, I'll find them and come back. Does anybody even live up here? There's just a couple of houses here. I guess somebody's gotta live here, right? Hello? Anybody? Hmm. I don't see anybody here. Well, there is clothes. Ooh. Hmm. Okay. Hasty elixir, it looks like. Well, I'm sure somebody lives there. Hey, Tenno Village. Just now registers that we're in Hateno Village. Wow. Hello? Anybody here? Another empty house. It must be, a, there's a lot of people here. Maybe there's just out and about. Oh. Nope. He's sleeping. Mmm. Mmm. Is it my turn already? Oh, well, sorry. Not to pry, but I have to ask, who are you supposed to be? The man of my job means that nights and days are switched for me, so please let me sleep just a bit more. Oh, okay, sorry. That's, that's why he's sleeping in the middle of the night. Okay. Or sleeping in the middle of the day, I mean. I wonder what's up here. So this is supposed to be the tech lab, right? I see smoke up there. Well, hello. La 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 la, what a nice breeze. It doesn't carry that tang of salt on it though. What do you mean? Oops, I forgot we just met. I was reminiscing about my hometown of Lurland Village by the sea. The view and the air are different in Hateno Village, but this is where my wonderful husband calls home. I count myself lucky to be able to live and work along such a wonderful loving man. Lurland Village? It's a small fishing community far to the south. I lived there before I moved here with my new husband. We had to cross the bridge of Hylia to get here. We right down with everything I couldn't bear to leave behind. Thinking back on it, it's a wonder either of us survived the trip. Hee <laughs> What is it? So, uh, what are you doing? I take care of the windmills during the day in place of my husband. The windmills have to turn at the right speed or we can't grind the flour. My husband is very particular when it comes to our work. I take a more free willing attitude toward it. Okay, and what is this thing? Oh, you've noticed these, have you? It's apparently one of the lanterns of the Hateno Ancient Tech Lab director lights with a blue flame. But there's still a director there I've never seen her, not even once since moving here after my marriage. If you're curious, why not head up the road and pay a visit to the director? Alright, well thank you. Bye-bye. It was nice talking with you. Hmm, all the way up there. I suppose I could climb up, but you know what? There's a path, so I'll have to take the path up. Hateno Pasture and Hateno Ancient Tech Lab. Hmm. Alright. Uh, hey, you. Yes? What do you want? Oh, don't act so clueless. Although, fine. You seem harmless enough. Forgive me, I've just been on edge with all these monsters running around. I come up from Hitano Beach to steal my sheep. Someone will do something soon, I won't have any left. The sheep rustlers. I hate that king of monsters on Hitano Beach. Which monsters? The stupid ones who attack anything that moves. Last time they showed up, I gave them a taste of, taste of my pitchfork. I had second thoughts about following them back to their camp on Hitano Beach. I was mad enough to spit, but maybe not mad enough to take on seven monsters at once. Where's Hateno Beach at? It's southeast of the village. Follow the winding road and you'll be there before you know it. It's well known, well known enough that you can probably find it on a map come to that. 
Anything else you want, no? No, thank you. Good. Goodbye. Sorry if we get on the phone the wrong foot. Uh, that's all. Hmm. I wonder if I can help her out. Hey, turn up beach. Oh, hi. I didn't see you. Yes. Hello. Uh, hello. Okay. Bye-bye, then. Tenno Beach, huh? Oh, that's actually further forward. How about that? Tenno Beach. Oh, I bet it's that spot. I have to take out this camp here. Okay. Well, let's see. I guess we can uh, go to Tenno Beach, then. Seven monsters, huh? I'll have to get the drop on them. See what I can do. Hello, kid. Is there really a girl there? Safaro, have you seen the girl? The girl, she won't come out. Okay, well, bye then. I gotta go to Hatena Beach and say and stop some monsters. I bet that's their camp over there. See if we can get the drop on them. Let's see. I want to get out my... Yep, my shock arrows have increased. Bomb arrows. I just realized this is probably going to give me ancient arrows when I get to that point. I probably want to fix that. Probably want to disable using it once I get some ancient arrows. Here we go! I don't know why I just compiled two shaders. Well, that didn't quite work the way I wanted. Oh, there's a big one. There's a lot of them. <laughs> oh dear. This is not what I expected to find. <laughs> at all. I was not expecting black bokoblins. Oh boy, these guys hurt. A lot. Oh dear. Let's see, what do I even have here? Just meat skewers. Meat skewers will be fine. That's a big uh, that's a big moblin. Ow. Ow. <laughs> He's another fairy. Ow. These things hurt. Just saying. Maybe this wasn't such a good idea. Huh? I'm in the middle of it now. Gotta do it. me actually just straight up switch weapons here to something that's actually like decent and shield ow I guess that didn't quite work because even though I had the shield up he still hit me through it And you know what? Let's fill up the rest of my house with this. Ow! Okay, this is not working quite the way I would like. <laughs> Him on one at a time is a good idea. And I probably want that. Probably much better than what I've got. Enhanced Lazal Spear, definitely better. 
All right, let's get that equipped. That's probably better. Ow. Time to get wrecked. And if this red guy, he'll go away immediately. The nice thing about spears is that it makes them stop attacking when they get hit a couple of times. So that is one handy thing about... Oh wait, I don't need this anymore. Um, actually this is probably even better. Not really, it's only seven. Which is the same as a soldier spear, so not actually. Alright, I think all that's left is to deal with this guy. That's a regular Lazal spear again. This one up here, get the rest of this stuff. There's a sheep. Alright, big guy. Not paying attention to me anymore, so get wrecked. Flurry rush! Yay! We did it! Updated the sheep rustlers! Bobbling guts! That's just a regular Lazal spear. Huh? Uh, took me a few couple of fairies, but I managed. Ooh, got a ruby. Alright, well I saved your sheep. Not that I can do anything with the sheep, but I should save two sheep. <laughs> oh, time to go back. Hmm, actually, before I do that, let's check out the little base here. I see a shrine way out there. They have nothing. Well, because I already got everything that was worthwhile here. Crab! And shell crab. Have a couple of them crabs. Boom. Hydro melon. Ooh. Volt fruit. Cool. And an apple. Alright. Well, alright. I guess that's it. There's a shrine out there, though. I should probably go out there at some point. I will, don't worry. I absolutely will, because I know what that shrine is and I definitely want to go there. So, I'm actually wondering if it might just be a good idea to go out there. <laughs> um, yeah, it probably would to be honest. Um, I don't think we have any Korok leaves which would be needed to get out there the proper way. So, I think I am just going to work my way over there via Cryonis. Um, and then in the next episode, uh, we'll come back and uh, we will... Oh, Karak. Um, we will uh, we'll be over there via Cryonis and whatnot, so... So, I'm pretty sure you guys don't want to watch me just sit there and cry on this across. <laughs> so, well, maybe you do, but go rock. You found me. Anyway, uh, like I said. I will make my way over there, and in the next episode, we will continue from there. So, I do hope you've enjoyed. If you have, 
feel free to subscribe. Check the video description down below for links to the playlist. That way you can get caught up on any of the episodes that you might have missed. And I will see you all next time. See you later.